This is what is causing depression, like deep, deep depression, because people are found themselves in this cage. They've lost meaning. They've lost their connection to God. The liberal system is constantly attacking God and religion. And God and religion is important for people's psychology. God and religion is important for people to live happy, fulfilled lives. That's a, a central need that people have. And liberalism destroys it. I know that feeling depressed is real. I believe that the number one power you have against these things are taking, trying to take control of your own mind and affecting your own life. I believe that it's not healthy to hand over all your power and believe that depression is an outside disease that you can't affect. I know that when I've had difficult periods in my life, and also many of my friends, like I've said, suffer from PTSD and been through terrible things, I've lived a very difficult life, and I know people who have, that the things that made them feel better is when they woke up and said, you know what, I'm not going to allow this to damage me anymore. I'm going to take responsibility. I'm going to get up, and I'm going to fight this as hard as right, I can. And I'm, and by the way, on that... I agree. So we agree. My, my favorite speech is the Rocky Balboa one. Okay, so then we agree. The no, way no. One. no, we do. Here's where we don't agree. Here's. You don't, no, hang on. You, you've got to let me sure. interject when I don't agree with you, sure. right? Where I don't agree with you is that there's no such thing as clinical depression. There absolutely is. Well, it's a proven scientific medical reality. There's a different argument about have we gone a bit too soft, right? right? In yeah. schools and yeah. all the rest of it. Absolutely. Yeah. Do I think some people moan and whine too much about their lot in life? Definitely. Okay. Are we a victimhood society? 100%. Okay. Is there such a thing as clinical depression? Absolutely. It's a, it's a nonsensical view. I, I'm siding with Pierce Morgan on this one um, to, to an extent. Like, it's, yeah, depression is a real thing. And you can acknowledge that per, uh, depression is a real thing while also acknowledging that many people who think that they're depressed or have some kind of medical issue are not. Like they are just suffering from this victimhood complex and they need to like you know, get it together, basically, as Andrew Tate says, like you can hold, you can believe both things, like they're not mutually contradictory. So uh, that seems like a reasonable point. Someone pointed out correctly that uh, it's been shown that depression is not a chemical imbalance. Um, it seems to be some, because the, the common clinical consensus was that depression is due to a chemical imbalance in the, in the brain, uh, having to do with, neurotransmitters uh, like dopamine or serotonin. Um, so it was shown recently that, okay, it's depression is not due to this chemical imbalance. But does that mean that you can control whether you're depressed or not? No, no. And so Andrew Tate is completely wrong on this. Uh, some people, like I said, who are suffering from a victimhood complex can change their state of mind and their this kind of depressive state by getting out of it of a victimhood complex. That's true. Andrew Tate is correct about that. But to say that no one can ever, like everyone can control whether they're, they're depressed or not. No, this is factually untrue. No, because I don't believe it. I can't be haunted by a ghost if I don't believe in ghosts. Well, that's why I'm saying I'm never going to die because <laughs> I don't believe in it. It's ridiculous. Perhaps. But if it allows me to live a life where I feel no, happy no sense. myself. This is, again, this is... I think that clinical depression, I actually agree with you, is massively overdiagnosed. I've already said that PTSD is a very real thing. I've already said... I didn't... That. Oh, hang on. Okay. Again, you're misquoting me. I, so I how, not... how can PTSD be a very real thing, but depression is not? Like uh, clinical depression or whatever you want to call it. How can PTSD... Because it's kind of the same... Uh, I mean, it's not exactly the same, but in in the abstract or very generally broad strokes it is like you are in a in a down mental state because of something that has happened to you um because of some traumatic event so people don't necessarily have to go to war to be traumatized or experience like a murder or something like majorly traumatic in, in that kind of conventional sense to, to be affected mentally. And this is the point that Andrew Tate should be making if he you know, thought about this a little bit more deeply is that, yeah, people are depressed. Why? It's not something that they can control. They're depressed because of the ridiculous world that they have found themselves in. This ridiculous liberal global system that they're stuck in. That's what's causing their depression. They're alone. They can't get married. They can't form meaningful connections with people. Everything is mediated through these artificial paths of social media or pornography or cheap entertainment 
or cheap food, junk food. This is what is causing depression, like deep, deep depression, because people are found themselves in this cage. They've lost meaning. They've lost their connection to God. The liberal system is constantly attacking God and religion. And God and religion is important for people's psychology. God and religion is important for people to live happy, fulfilled lives. That's a, a central need that people have. And liberalism destroys it. Liberalism is the one that destroys it, is violating people's fundamental human interests and therefore their fundamental human rights. That is the liberal global system that we are trapped in like animals, slowly killing us all. So yeah, people are depressed and they can't control it because they can't control the system that is being imposed on them, this liberal system that's being imposed on them. If you take a, an animal like a tiger or a lion or a, you know, some other uh, wild animal in, from the wild into captivity. Many of those animals, many of those species become depressed. <laughs> this is something that's not just in humans. Even animals can become highly depressed. Chimpanzees, bears, polar bears, grizzly bears, some of them can't survive in captivity. They die of what? Of some kind of depression. It's a, it's a real thing. If you put, you put them in a cage, but that's what we're in as human beings. We're put in this liberal cage and people are getting depressed. They are suffering from schizophrenia. They're suffering from all kinds of serious mental disorders. All of that is real. It's real. But what is the solution? The solution that the liberal world order gives you is more pharmaceuticals, antidepressants. Antidepressant use has gone through the roof. Suicide rates have gone through the roof. This is the solution of the liberal global order. They won't actually change the system because that means they'll lose power. The, tr the real solution is a godly life. The real solution is a godly society, a society that respects God, that respects revelation, that respects the prophets who have been sent by God to show us how to live life how to live properly, how to organize society beyond just the individual. That is what is the solution to this kind of depression. It's a systematic thing. It's not something that an individual can control. Andrew Tate's message is just personal improvement. So he just falls in line with all of these other life coaches. He's a glorified life coach who drives a Bugatti. Talk about the systematic problems. Talk about the bigger issues. He is hinting towards some of that. And we should appreciate if he, when he hints at the bigger problems. But unless you're advocating for systematic change of the system, then it's, it's really a half measure. It's, it's really not a true solution. Like the idea that you can get out of this depression by lifting more weights and learning uh, jujitsu or karate. That's a joke. That's a joke. 